Hi, my name is Janet Skates, and welcome to my studio today for another heart to art question and answer session. I started these to answer questions that I get via email or messaging or uh, comments because I get a lot of the same questions and this is a great way to answer everyone. Today's topic is how to sell your artwork. So this is a this is a big question and hard to hard to address everyone being that they're in different places with their with their art business. Some just beginning, some have been doing it for maybe a year and some have been doing it for several years, but they're wanting to maybe transition into a different way of of reaching people with their artwork. So I just want to pop out some suggestions for you. And first would be to start showing your artwork in your local area. Maybe you have a restaurant that you frequent, or maybe you have friends that have a restaurant or a coffee shop in your area. That's a great place to begin, and it benefits not only you, but it benefits them, and it can be really fun to put your artwork in and uh, really allow people that you know in the area where you live to see what you're doing creatively when you put when you put your artwork in a coffee shop or a restaurant i want to remind you <laughs> to be sure and place it in a safe area away from what could be um, splashes or spills and make sure that your artwork has either a fixative or a varnish on it uh, to help protect it you need to price your artwork and work out ahead of time if the manager there or the owner will handle sales for you or if they if the clients need to contact you directly. Making that agreement ahead of time will just make things run smoothly for your client and for you. You might consider having business cards or placards printed or you can hand print them or letter them really fun to have on each piece that tells the title and the price and uh, your contact information. So that's a great way to begin. Art fairs are another wonderful way to get started, not only uh, selling your work, but coming in contact with other artists where you can uh, learn some of their tips maybe experiences they've had and build your own repertoire as well. They are, there are fairs that are annual fairs, craft fairs, fundraiser fairs, different things like that. Um, some of the same things apply as they did for like showing your work in a restaurant. Make sure everything's clearly tagged and things like that and that people can contact you. But that's a great way to come in touch with even more people than you might in a restaurant style setting. Another way to get a great exposure for your artwork is to donate. Um, I participate in several different uh, charities around my area and even in the, in the nation. And it's a great way to come in, uh, in contact with other artists, but for your work to get visibility and, and to benefit a great cause as well. So I strongly suggest if you can do that, there's lots of uh, auctions that go on, art auctions and fundraisers. So uh, tap into that resource as well. Contact your local chamber of commerce. Uh, that can be a, a big in for you as well in getting in touch with different organizations that might have events that you could participate in. After you've built up you know, a base clientele, you might consider starting your own website. I don't often recommend to people starting off with a website because the the upkeep is, is on you or it's financially, you need to hire someone to do that for you. I do both. I have uh, someone who administrates over my website, but I also do a lot of the basic things just to keep it up to, up to date as well. So, so you need to, before you jump into a website, you need to consider the time and the money that it takes to do that. Uh, but that is a way to, to sell your artwork. Instagram and Facebook, social media are great for selling artwork and YouTube. <laughs> so if you want to, uh, to kick off some sales by going straight through Facebook or Instagram, that's another great way. And you don't have the added burden of a website right off the bat. 
So these are just some fun ways to get started. I hope you find it helpful. Um, go with your gut. You know, I always I always tell people to do that because I really think that that our intuition is put there to help guide us in the in the right direction. And uh, for example, I don't do art fairs. That's that's just it's it's not my thing at all. And so I don't do that. But I know people who do it and they're brilliant at it and they love doing it. So you, you need to find your fit and follow your, your instinct and what you like and what you're drawn to. You can't go wrong when you, when you do that. So I urge you to do that. And um, if I can be of help, if I can answer more specific questions, please put it in the comments below and I will get back to it and be sure and address your question. You can also drop me an email at Janet, J-A-N-E-T-K-K-A-Y-E, skates, S-K-A-T-E-S, at yahoo.com. Follow me on Instagram at Janet Skates Art, on Facebook at the same Janet Skates Art. And if you like this video, please click subscribe down below and you'll be notified when I put up more videos. Thank you and have a great creative day.